Okay, let's do our warm ups and just a nice gentle practice today. So spread your toes, no gripping. Sit bones toward the floor, hips open, core active, shoulders back and down. Reach your head toward the ceiling, shoulders relaxed. Focus on your breathing, drawing in awareness with energy. Exhaling stress and any extraneous ideas that you don't want to deal with. And just keep that in your focus, noticing how your body responds to your yoga today. Inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level. Keep the shoulders down. Stretch those fingers out, crown high. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows slightly back. Stretch out to the front and keep your shoulders down. And then bring your hands behind you. Just gently clasp the fingers together, press them toward the floor. Lift your heart and push your head back into a back bend. So just a nice upper body back bend, not a lot of pressure in your low back. And then exhale, pivoting at your hips, coming on over. Head toward your legs, hands toward the ceiling. Move your chin around, let your neck release a little bit. Bring your hands maybe a little further so that shoulders start working. And then slowly bending your knees, start at the bottom of your spine, and just wind all the way back up into a back bend. And again, upper body back bend, lifting your heart. Keep stretching through the base of your skull so you're not crunching your neck too much. And don't forget to keep breathing. And then inhaling, come upright, release your arms and your back and mountain pose, feet hip width apart, everything aligned. So you want your knees going toward your second toes and your sitting bones toward the floor and your ribs toward your spine and up so that support is on your lower back. And we're doing the same thing again, bringing your arms to shoulder level, shoulders down, hands to your heart, Stretch to the front and clasp your hands, but shift the fingers one position over so you clasp the other way. Lift into the back, then lift your heart high, and then pivot at your hips, exhaling all the way through. Head toward your legs, hands toward the ceiling, or further toward your head. Take a few breaths there and just relax a little bit more. Lift your sitting bones for a stretch on the back of your legs. And then bend your knees slightly. And again, wind your way all the way up from the bottom of the spine to the top and into the back bend. Stretch your head back, lifting your heart. Keep breathing. And then inhale upright and release into mountain pose. As you get there, just take a moment and notice how that spine is a little more activated. We'll do our side stretches. So lateral motion to the spine this time. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass the hands, turn them in class, and then bring your arms back by your ears. Stretch up, but keep your shoulders down. Keep the body facing the front, no twisting, and just lean so those ribs stretch apart and the other side control. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, out through the head and the fingertips. And then inhale upright, switch your hands so the other one's in front, but keep the shoulders still down. Spread your toes, stretch the spine, and no twist, just lean to the other side. And again, feel those ribs stretch as you push the foot down that you're leaning away from, out through the hands. Take a moment and breathe. And then inhale to the top, exhale back into mountain pose. And just take a moment feeling the sides of your body a little bit more open. And we'll open the spine. So base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch apart so that you've got room to twist. Arms again, shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Stretch the spine apart. And exhale toward the side. Whole body turning into your twist and then stretch up. And as you exhale, come on over in the twist. So just as deeply as you like to go. 
Even keep the weight on both feet evenly. Keep your legs straight as much as feels okay. Bend your arms next to your ears. And then staying in the shift, inhale your way up. And again, another upper body back bend, especially this time since you're twisted. No pressure on that way back. High five, looking up. Stretch the elbows back. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, and switch your arms, balancing things out as we do. And we'll go the other side. So again, stretch the spine apart so it can twist and then draw to the other side. Another breath in, and as you exhale, come out a little bit. So deepen as much or as little as you want to go. Keep breathing. Tension out. See if the weight's still on both feet as evenly as you can. And then arms by your ears, working your way back up as you inhale. And again, another upper body back bend. Shoulders back and down, elbows away from you, and heart forward. Stretch into that upper body back bend. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms up into your extended mountain. Keep your shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist. Ground to the ceiling, sink evenly into your feet. Take a breath. Keep extending up through the fingers. And let's think into a chair this time. So keep your arms by your ears. Move your knees toward, but not beyond your toes and push your sitting bones way back behind you as you come into your squat. So come only as deep as it feels good for you. Stretch it out. And then pivot over into your ragdoll and just fall. Lift your sitting bones, straighten your knees, lifting your kneecaps toward your thigh, tightening the front of your thigh, letting the back of your leg hamstring stretch. Pull in a little deeper if you want with your hands behind your legs, then coming closer toward your legs. And then arms back to the front, ragdoll, and we'll wind your way up. Shoulders back and down, and again into mountain pose. And as you get into mountain pose, just feel your spine all activated. We bend in all its different directions forward bend, backward bend, side to side, lateral, and stand on twists. So just notice how that feels for your body today. And then stretch up through the spine, and we'll do the windmill for a little more twisting action. Follow your hands from one side to the other, turning your whole body, reaching up through the crown, and just going a little deeper into your twist at each end as that spine gets a little bit more warm. And then turn back to the center. Bring your hands, heels of the palms on your lower shoulder blades and fingertips down towards your waist. Press the palms just gently into the back on either side of your spine and then pull your elbows away toward each other and feel the chest expand. And then look overhead, keep the hips above the ankles and push your head back. Coming as much into a supported twist or supported back bend as you like. So just no twist, no lateral motion, just a back bend, stretching your head back, lifting your heart. So keep the chin just a little bit more toward your chest rather than pulling it up toward the ceiling so that back of the neck keeps stretching even while you're back bending. And then inhale back upright, release your arms. And again, just feel that circulation through the whole body. Spread your toes for balance practice. So again, knee going toward your toes, not beyond ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, and everything you want to go. Sink evenly into the base of your toes. Remember, no gripping with the toes and heel. So you've got the weight into the whole bottom of your foot. Now roll in at the top of the thigh, make sure that that toe is going toward your second toe, not out toward the sides or in. And you want to sink into that foot, bring the other foot up. So when you've got your stability, just bring that other leg. Balance challenge, keep that foot near the floor, bring it up as high as it wants to go, knee toward your heart. 
and wrap your hands around or underneath, and then circle your ankle. So crown is toward the ceiling, core is activated, supporting your spine. Just keep circling those ankles as much as it will. Breathing, and then flexing point to return to mat and pose. Take what worked on that side, shift it to the other, include whatever you need to, keeping that core active for support, lining everything up, and breathing. Again, sink into your foot evenly in the base of the toes and heels. No gripping with those toes when you lose that support. Bring the leg up, pull it in, or keep it close to the floor on this side. And again, some circles with the ankles one way and the other way. Finding your balance and working it out. Step in and out every time you need to. And again, as you release, flex and point so it can straighten out before you're back into mountain pose. Take a moment there. Notice what's going on for you today. We're going to do one more balance practice. But first, we're going to go into our chair pose again. So core active, shoulders relaxed, arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Keep those arms right next to your ears, extending out through the fingertips, crown high. The core is active, so that support in your lower back, even as you do everything. We're going to, again, bend the knees toward your toes, but not beyond. Push those sitting bones way back behind you and come into the spine as deeply as you want. So you may pause, not very deep, or you can go all the way till your thighs, arms are parallel to the floor. It's up to you. Stretch it out. Take a breath. Shoulder blades toward your waist, fingertips and crown reaching away, sitting bones pulling, shifting back, and then shift over into ragdoll. Take a breath, lifting those sitting bones toward the ceiling, just relaxing, upper body just hanging. Slide your hands up under your knees on your shins, stretch and straighten, taking a breath. Elbows, knees, and spine straight. Dropping back into ragdoll, palms together. Inhale. Follow your hands as you bring them to your heart. Shoulders down. Keep the shoulders down as you extend the hands toward the ceiling. Pull them back into a little back bend as you lift your heart. And exhale. Hands to your heart. And back into mountain pose. As you get back to mountain pose again, just notice what your body is telling you as we get ready for one more balance practice. So spread your toes, get the base of the toes connected. Remember, you're lifting the toes and then spreading them out, putting them down, but not gripping. That arch keeps lifting, the whole bottom of your foot is supporting you. Dig down into that foot, reach your crown high, bring the other foot just off the floor. And then we're going to rotate and bring the ankle above the knee and then move it out to the side and then push it back. And then we're going to go into a squat. So hands to your heart and push the sitting bones back. And again, kind of like we did with chair, sinking down only as far as you want into the squat in the balance. Find your position, step out and in if you need to. And then rise back up, knee to the front, foot to the floor, hands to your sides. Exhale any tension. So just notice how that balance was, and we're going to shift it to the other side. So again, toes up, hold on with your foot supporting. Make sure that alignment is right so that you get that good support from the bones, letting your body be fully supported by the bottoms of your base of toes and heel even. Sink into your foot that's balancing, up through the crown, keep the core active, shoulders relaxed. And again, bring the foot on the other side up, cross it over, pull that knee back as much as you can so that hip is nice and open. And then find your balance and bring your hands to your heart. Take a breath. 
And again, just sinking into the heel a little bit more as you push the sitting bones back, hips back, coming into that squat just gently. Feel your balance. Find it. If you need to step out, just bring the knee to the front first before you do it and go into it gently, just the same way you do here. Take a breath. Just relax. And then coming back up, the knee to the front, foot to the floor, releasing into mountain pose once more. Exhale all that balance stress. And just remember, balance reflects the balance in our lives. So some days are better than others, as always. And again, hands to your heart. Inhale, bringing them towards the ceiling, back into the back, then lifting your heart. Exhale and following them all the way toward the floor into the floor. Hands up under your shin, on your shins into that halfway up stretch. So under your knees, press the palms in, elbows straight, knees straight, spine straight. Lengthen through the whole body. And then again, exhale down, bending your knees, palms together, inhale, hands to your heart, and release back into the pose. Take a moment there and release any tension. Arms to shoulder level, palms up, spread your fingers, and then some circles with your arms. So feel the feet evenly sinking into the earth. Feel the head reaching up. Feel the core still active, supporting you, and circling those arms. Small circles. And then stop and turn the palms toward the floor. Circle the other way. So again, big circles as you start, just moving the arms around from the shoulders all the way up through the fingertips, up through the crown, sink evenly into your feet. Remember, toes are spreading, not gripping. Core is supporting. And small circles. And then stop. Stretch it out. Keep the hips above the ankles and push one heel to the side. Feel that side stretch. Back to the center and to the other side. Again, a nice stretch through the side. Back to the center, stretch both arms out. Palms toward the ceiling, hands overhead, swan dive forward. Arms at shoulder level, back flat. Everything nice and straight, parallel to the floor, and then drop into the left dog. And again, slide those hands up on your shins, right under your knees, straighten everything up. Exhale back down, palms together, inhaling, hands to your heart, continue all the way toward the ceiling, thumbs back, chest high. And hands to your heart, coming back into mountain pose. As you get back in the mountains again, just take a moment, feel your body. Notice the spine, especially. And let's do that windmill one more time, which is twisting to one side, and then the other. Follow your hands. Keep looking, turning your whole body, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything going side to side. And then back to the center and hands to your heart again. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling. Another nice back bend, pull those hands back. Follow them toward your heart. Pivot on over. Exhale into ragdoll. Next time, come all the way to the floor into child's pose, transitioning to the moment. Take a breath there, just relaxing, head toward the floor, hands, palms up, shoulders down. Just take a moment to breathe. And then inhale, sitting up, and come into step position. Press out through the bottoms of your feet, up through the crown, core activated, and we're going to use that just a little bit for a little abs work today. 
So get those sitting bones nicely behind you and core activated crown toward the ceiling. So hips and shoulders lined right up, shoulders still back and down, relaxing. Bend your knees and draw those heels until your feet are flat on the floor. Remember, keep rolling in at the top of the thighs so the knees are straight up, not splitting out apart. And then we're going to bring the hands, palms up slightly away from your knees. Core active and just lean back just slightly. Stay on your sitting bones. If you go back too far on your sacrum, you'll just kind of roll over. So you don't want to do that. And then bring one foot up just a little bit. You can straighten it a little bit more so the shin is parallel to the floor. Or you can straighten your knee and stretch out to the base of your toes with those sides parallel. And so you keep the shoulders down and the fingertips extending and the crown reaching away. Feel that core working. If you start vibrating, that's okay. Take a few breaths there. Exhale any tension. And then bring that foot back down. You can stay there or you can sit up and take a little break if that core is working hard. Or you feel those hips at that hip flexor joint. Sometimes that gets involved as well. So we're going to go into that same starting position with the spine straight, the core active, the body releasing just a little bit back so that you feel that core working for support as your knees are straight up. And then the other foot comes up a little or more or straight. Always your personal practice. Thighs parallel as much as you can in whichever position you're in. Shoulder, shoulder blades down. Fingertips are reaching away, crown reaching away. Feel that core working, supporting you. Breathe. Think into your sitting bones, not your sacrum. And then lower the legs slowly. And again, you can sit up and take that break or stay activated if you want. So we're going to do both feet together. Now remember, personal practice, you do not have to do both legs fully extended if you don't want to. You can just keep those toes barely off the floor, whatever's right for your body. If it gets too vibrating, just put your feet back down. Activate the core. Ribs towards your spine and up, shoulders down. Lean back just slightly on the sitting bones still, reaching out from the sitting bones to the crown. And then both feet come up a little or more, or straight, or hold your toes, take a little bit out of that hip joint and extend out through the base of the toes, shoulders still down towards your waist as you extend into that elbow. So you can be supported. With the hands on fingers on the toes, or you can be unsupported with your hands near your side, or you can be legs parallel to the floor, or you can be toes just barely off the floor, or if you've had enough, just bring those toes back down the floor completely and just a little balance there. Take a breath and then bring your feet back down, slide the legs out, sitting back up, and just. Relax through that midsection completely. Coming into staff position. Feel your body. Notice what it's doing. And bring your feet to the end of the mat. Keep the core activated as you roll all the way onto your back. So the roll there and onto the sacrum, onto the shoulder blades, and the shoulders, and the floor. Take a breath. Just let everything release and relax. Belly soft, hips soft, everything relax. We're going to do a twist. So bring your arms up to T position, palms up, shoulders and shoulder blades down on the floor. Bend your knees slightly, press your back down, sitting bones slightly toward your feet. We're going to either bend your knee and bring the right leg up or keep it straight and bring the leg up perpendicular to your body. So press out through the bottom of your foot up toward the ceiling. Knee as straight as it wants to be today. Shoulders down. We're going to roll all the way over to the left side, bringing that right foot onto the floor over there and the hands together also. 
Remember, keep your head on the floor as you move around so you're not working your neck too much. You can always pad if you need to. So get all the way onto your left side. Bring that foot up into your hand if that works. Otherwise, just hold your hand on the leg to keep the foot on the floor. Right hand above your shoulder to the ceiling, fingertips up, palm open. Keep the palm open toward the ceiling and lower the back of the hand right at shoulder level toward the floor behind you as you turn and look at that hand. So you're coming into a twist and where the knee is straight and you're holding your foot and you're pushing that right leg away, the more your lower back is in the twist. So be gentle with the knee chin. And coming toward the floor, it may stay up in the air. That's okay. That's your middle back twist. Gravity will pull you deeper when your spine is ready to go. And your neck area twist from looking back toward that hand behind you. Don't overdo it if your neck is sensitive. Just breathe and relax in whatever position you're in, letting your twist happen, not forcing it. Remember always. The more you exhale and relax, the more of those movements release, and the deeper your twist may become. But let it happen. Don't make it happen. It's just whatever is right for your body. Deep breaths, just relax and into it. And of course, you can hold these twists longer on your own. But for right now, let go of your foot. Or leg, roll onto your back, extend that foot up to the ceiling with the knees straight, back on the floor, shoulders down, flex the heel, lead with it, and lower the leg slowly to the floor. Whenever it gets there, just totally relax. Feel your body, notice the twist energy through your spine, activating things to be ready for our relaxation. But first, now we have to balance the body. So again, bend your knees, back pressing down. Left leg coming up, either bent knee and then straightening as much as you can, or keeping it straight all the way up, foot towards the ceiling. Keep that foot flexed, keep the shoulders down, and we're going to roll this time all the way to the right side. And on the floor, bringing the hands together and the foot all the way to the floor. Come all the way onto the right side. Take the right hand and hold your foot if that works for you. Or just hold the leg wherever you can. Left hand right above your shoulder, palm open. Keep it up toward the ceiling as you lower into the twist. Be looking at that hand as it goes behind you. And again, deepen your twist only as much as your body wants to go. Exhale, tension. Just allow the twist to happen. Your hand, as I said, may be up in the air. Just let it be. Gravity knows when you're ready to twist more deeply. Exhale any tension. The more you do that, the more you'll release into your twist. And as always, do what's right for your body, letting it happen, not forcing anything. Deep breaths, just letting the hand and shoulder come closer to the floor for that middle back twist. Bend the foot away for that lower back twist. And turn your head for that neck area twist. Deep breaths. Just maximize or minimize whatever's right for you. And then letting go of your foot or leg, roll onto the back. Flex the heel. Keep the leg as straight as you can. Keep that core activated, supporting your leg as you slowly bring it to the floor. And whenever it's down, just totally relax, bringing your hands near your hips, palms up, shoulders down, belly soft, toes slightly toward the ceiling, and then just exhale. Let your body go soft and heavy. Relaxation time, time to focus inward. Notice your body, all that twist energy through your spine, activating your awareness into your skull for that meditative connection. Just deepen your breath, soften your body, let it sink deep into that earth support. And just let your awareness relieve any tension in your body. 
No need to think of any parts of your body, just let them go, allowing your awareness to focus inward. If other thoughts come to your mind, notice that it's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, just let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. Deep breaths, floating attention away, deepening that earthbound connection with your body, just heavy and soft. And allow your mind to float, releasing the content of your thoughts, letting it float away as easily as your breath. And just allow your awareness to release your body and your mind. Focus inward. Find the peace deep within. Be the peace. Feeling your body. Feeling your mind. Breathing peace. And if you can keep relaxing longer, feel free to take as much time as you have opportunity. It's time to reactivate for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Begin breathing more fully, moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. As you breathe more fully, stretch more completely when you're ready for your Final yoga with of appreciation, sitting by the toward your heels, heels toward your hips, knees up toward your head. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug, however it feels good for you to do. Let your body know you appreciate it's the yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, every feet to the floor, the knee to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead. You are one today. Thanks for joining me.